Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about some important changes to Social Security that could make life a whole lot easier for many of you, including retirement, SSI, SSDI, survivors, veterans, or spousal benefits. If you've ever found yourself bogged down by paperwork, having to print, sign, and mail in forms, you'll definitely want to stick around for this update. Now, here's something that not everyone knows, the Social Security Administration has been quietly working on removing some of those signature requirements for forms, both digital and physical. In fact, for over 30 forms, they've transitioned to allowing digital signatures, and for 13 others, they've removed the signature requirement entirely. This means fewer delays, less hassle, and, ultimately, quicker processing for millions of people who rely on these services. So, let's break it down. We'll go over which forms are affected, how these changes might benefit you, and what you need to know moving forward. By the end of this, you'll have a better understanding of how to navigate the system and make the most of these updates. And, let's be real, who doesn't want to avoid unnecessary paperwork, right? Speaking of which, let's talk about the forms that now accept digital signatures. This change affects more than 30 forms, covering about 90% of what people use most often when dealing with Social Security. That's around 14 million forms every year. So instead of needing to print, sign, and mail them in, you can now just click a button to sign electronically. This not only saves time but also reduces the chances of errors, something we all want to avoid, especially when it comes to something as important as Social Security benefits. Now, for those 13 forms that no longer need a signature at all, this is huge. Forms like the Medical Source Opinion of Patients' Capability to Manage Benefits or the Request for Reconsideration Disability Cessation Right to Appear are no longer bogged down by signature requirements. These are forms used by thousands of people, so this change is definitely going to speed up the process for many. And, another big benefit here is that many of these forms can now be submitted online. This means no more having to mail in documents, which could take weeks or even months to process. So then, if you've been worried about delays in getting your benefits, these changes are going to be a major relief. What's more, the Social Security Administration is considering removing signature requirements for even more forms. So, we're not done yet, there are even more improvements on the way. And now, you might be wondering, what does this mean for fraud protection? Well, the SSA has reassured us that even though they're reducing paperwork and simplifying processes, they're not compromising on security. They put safeguards in place to make sure that these changes won't make the system more vulnerable. You see, they're balancing efficiency with security, and that's key to making sure we all get the right benefits at the right time. On top of that, they've also been working to modernize other aspects of Social Security. For example, if you have a My Social Security account, you can now opt in for paperless communication. So, instead of waiting for letters in the mail, you can access things like your Social Security statement, track your claims, and even get updates on your cost of living adjustment all online. It's just one more way they're making things easier for us. Now, I know some of you might still prefer receiving things by mail, and that's totally fine. But for those who want to go paperless, it's as easy as clicking a button in your online account. And let's face it, in today's digital world, the less paper clutter, the better, right? So, whether you're already retired, close to retiring, or just planning ahead, these changes are designed to make your experience smoother and faster. No one likes dealing with unnecessary delays or paperwork, and the SSA is making a real effort to streamline things. And next, keep an eye out for more updates. The SSA is planning to continue simplifying their processes, so if you're someone who deals with them regularly, you'll want to stay informed. All right, that's it for today's update. If you found this helpful, be sure to share it with someone who might benefit from these changes. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.